This video was recorded two nights ago when the shop was still here, but while I've been at work, the shop has actually disappeared. So what I've spoken about in this video, you may have to take with a grain of salt, I'm not too sure. The shop may come back, it may not. Team Maglet haven't actually said anything, they've posted this on Instagram though. Could this be shop 5.0 coming? I'm not too sure, we'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, onto the video. Now I know it's not Halloween anymore when you're watching this, but it's Halloween when I'm recording it right now and I'm talking about Halloween drop, so we've got a nice spooky set. So we've got actually quite a lot to run through today. First of all, a nice kicks article. There's a link in the description to the article, but it kind of just summarizes the event that happens today on Halloween and tomorrow on the 1st of November. And the event is called Aglet Playground, and basically there's 10 secret stashes for players to hit. Aglet has posted them on their Instagram story. The first to hit all 10 wins $600 to spend at Stadium Goods, and second and third place win $300 each to spend at Stadium Goods. These here are the 10 locations players have to hit, and for those players not in New York City, Aglet and Stadium Goods have released a limited edition shoe into the Aglet sneaker store. It's an Aglet 1 low with stadium goods glow in the dark socks attached to them. They actually only cost one Aglet and they have a similar efficiency rating to the Yeezy 350 J caps that released a few weeks back as part of that Dire Wolves drop. So for new players, they present huge value. The Aglet and Gucci collaboration was also announced yesterday. We don't know too much about this, but it seems at the moment Gucci has a virtual sneaker section of their app called the Gucci Sneaker Garage. And from the announcement post on the Aglet Instagram, it looks like a load more Gucci sneakers are coming to Aglet. I'm not quite sure how this collaboration is going to work, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. And I'm really hoping that some of Gucci's 41 million Instagram followers end up coming over and playing Aglet. I've also set up a Twitch account and I'm ready to get started with live streaming. I'm thinking about maybe doing some drop day streams and maybe playing games some evenings when I'm bored. I've not thought it through fully, but the link's in the description if you want to go down and follow me. And that way you can see when I go live. Next of all, my fixed cap has arrived. If you're in Europe and you order one of the hats, the first one came from Spain and this one came from Latvia. So the company I've got the hats sorted through has warehouses all over the world. Anyway, this dad hat's come through. I'm going to take the sticker off. There's the front. And here's the back. There's only nine more available, numbers two to 10. The link for them is in the description below as well. In fact, you know what, I'm gonna put this on. And finally, before we move on to talking about today's drop, I'd like to let everyone know that my Patreon has now changed. There's now just one tier to my Patreon, priced at four pound per month, and it gives you full access to my whole spreadsheet. I'd like to thank Liv at Aglet and Daniel from the Aglet Discord for signing up to my Patreon. And I'd like to give a big thanks as well to Dave for keeping his £10 pledge, even after I got him to move down to the £4 tier. So the spreadsheet has all of this stuff available in it. And if you want access to that, the link to my Patreon is in the description down below, like everything else I've spoken about today. So today's happenings on the Aglet app. Firstly, about two seconds before everything else that happened today, the dash green got removed from the Aglet shop. These were the best regular Aglet shoe that we've had available on a large scale. The sprint samples were actually better, but there were only 50 of those available, so I'm not going to count those as being the best shoe out there to grind with because there wasn't lots of pairs to buy to grind with. These dash greens, however, they had an efficiency rating of 358 when using Sneaker Shine and 476 when using Deadstock Stations. They were a fantastic shoe, and that is proven when you compare them to the Aglet 1 High Zombies that released today. This shoe is now the best shoe available in the shop and it has an efficiency rating of 152 when using Sneaker Shine. Comparing that to the 358 of the Dash Green, hmm, and the Aglet 1 High Zombie has an efficiency rating of 241 when using Deadstock Stations. Once again, comparing that to the 476 of the Dash Green when Deadstocking. The Dash Green was over double as good as what we have available to us now. If you didn't cop the Dash Greens, you made a mistake for sure. Next up, we have the Aglet One Mummy. It's a lovely looking illustration by Dan Kick Posters, but it is not profitable under any circumstance. Do not buy this if you're looking to grind. And in a world where the Aglet One SKL doesn't exist, the Ultra Boost Halloween are a good shoe. They're cheaper than the Van Skate High Halloween that released today, and the Ultra Boost are also more efficient. But the SKL are more efficient than both of them and only cost one Aglet. So the barrier to entry is basically walking two steps in the first shoe you get. So if you're wanting to grind with either the Ultra Boost Halloween or the Skate High Halloween, 
I'd say not to while the SKLs are available in the shop. So this Stadium Goods Aglet 1 SKL, whatever you want to call it, is very, 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 very good for new players. And I presume that's why they brought it into the game, because all the cheap pairs in the shop that are good for new players are sold out. So these new players are coming into the game and they can't access any shoes because there's none there for them. So if you're brand new to the game, you've just found this video, buy the SKL. But if you've been watching my videos for a while, you're more experienced at the game, you know that the SKLs will only get you so far. I wouldn't go about using these unless you're broke broke. To give you something to compare it to, their efficiency rating is roughly the same as the Aglet 1 Lunars. And you'd be able to see that by heading down to my Patreon in the description below and accessing my spreadsheet. But you experienced players will know that if you can afford them, the traditional Makasan is the way to go until you're able to afford those very efficient shoes like the Aglet 1 High Zombies. But yeah, that's everything for today. I hope you've all had a lovely Halloween and I'll see you all in a bit. Peace.